Crafts that make kids smile. Drill art. Hi everybody. Today we're going to be making some really fun art using a drill. All you need is a drill and markers and some cardstock paper. Um, I do uh, request that you have parent supervision for this um, craft only because there is a drill involved um, and I would never want anyone to get hurt. So please make sure that you have your parent approve of the drill uh, before doing this video. But all you need is the actual drill with the Phillips head screwdriver. Um, it's the one kind of with the four edges there. And of course, make sure that it is working. And what you need to do is have some cardboard cut out. Um, if, if you could see the size of it, it's approximately, I'd say about five inches by five inches or so. There's no set size, but the smaller the size works a little bit better when you spin the drill and the paper on it. So let me show you how you make this. This one was made with like a thinner marker and these were made with more of a thicker marker. Um, they're super fun to make. They kind of look more like a psychedelic kind of look to it. Um, you can do lots of things with this. You can cut this around and maybe even do your name in black uh, permanent marker. Um, you could put a button over that and make these into flowers. You can do really anything with this. Um, you can hang these up all over your room and just kind of make like a spirally kind of fun look. Um, but just to be creative, you can even make these as flowers and stick a pipe cleaner, whatever your um, your brain decides to do with them it would be really fun because they turn out different every time and they're super fun and easy to make so here's how you make them you take a drill and you take a piece of cardstock and this is the part where the parent needs to help out what I like to do is make sure your surface underneath is something that could um, put a little bit of drill in so I just kind of do that to make a little bit of the hole I'm not sure if you can see that and this is the part that's a little bit tricky I just put it on a little bit and just kind of make sure that the drill goes through the paper um, just like that and this like I said is where you need the parent help it's not exactly circular and I could actually trim it if I want to to make that circular um, I'll actually do that now for you because sometimes that might happen where it's not exactly straight. And all you'll have to do is trim that piece off to make it look more like a square. So it really depends on when you put the hole in. It doesn't always go perfect, but when you see the kids doing this, it's really fun. Here's the next step of it. You need to make sure it's somewhat straight. I know sometimes when you put it on, it kind of bends and that's fine. But to start, start it out straight because then your marker will fully go through. You can see in this one, certain parts, it didn't actually go all the way through, um, but it still kind of looks fun that way too. So that's what we found works best. So what I'm gonna do is do the rainbow colors. Um, I'm going to start with red. And how you do this is you just um, turn the drill on, and I'll show you here. You just use the on button here. And you're just going to turn the drill to make sure that it is working, just like that. And all you're going to do is tap your marker and pull it down very gently as the drill is spinning. So it's going to be a little loud, so I'll try to show you how it works here, and then I'll actually turn it on. So you're going to tap your marker, and a parent could actually turn the drill on, and then the child could just pull the marker down ever so slowly, and you'll see what'll happen. Let me show you. So start the drill and let it go full speed. And then you're going to put the marker down and just pull it down. And when you're done, you get a really fun design that only has the red, because that's all we did. And then we're going to go to the orange, and you're going to get ready to do the same thing. So you'll start with the drill, get your orange marker, and put your marker down. And then it turns out to be red and orange, which again, every time the kid does this, they will be so excited to see the colors. And then next we're gonna do yellow, and we're going to start the drill again and put the marker down. And then, of course I messed up there, but that's okay. It still makes it look fun, so I'm gonna try it again with the yellow so we can cover that. 
And that's the fun thing about this. I made that mistake and you're actually not even able to see it just as well as um, you did in the beginning, just when you can do it again with the same color. So next we'll do some um, green, I guess. And there's the green on there. And that kind of has a fun little flat shape there, which makes it look a little bit camo-y. Then we'll do blue. Here we go again. And now we have the blue. And maybe we'll add some pink and purple just for fun. So as you can see, the colors are coming through. It looks really fun. And let me try the pink now. And there's the pink. And the last color we will add in here is maybe, do we have purple? Let's do purple. So I'll add that purple in. And let's see how it looks. And that is your creation. Looks super fun. All you do is pop it off and you have your fun uh, drill art that you made with just a drill and some cardstock. You can do two colors, you can do four colors, you can do lots of different things with it, but it makes it look super fun. I'd love to see the ideas that you make. Feel free to share them with me um, or uh, just be able to be creative with them. And also with all of my crafts, be the reason that someone smiles today. I hope you enjoyed this craft and remember parent supervision is needed for this. And thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Crafts that make kids smile.